All right, beloveds, ready? You'll have everything you need. You're prepared for this journey. Very good. It's time to begin. Come along with me. So gather yourself in an area with a bit of space to stand in and move about. This can be done inside or outside. Of course, outside, if that's available, will be very lovely. Um, inside will, of course, be equally lovely. And so stand in your space, call in your circle, call in your space, respectfully request that the directions be acknowledged, be present and protective of your intentional space. Request your guides, your benevolent benefactors, be present and attentive. Request safety, request guidance, request inspiration. In your space, stand if you can. Imagine that you're in the center of a circle, an imaginary circle. There is perhaps an imaginary chalk line outlining the circle around you, maybe two to four feet around you, all the way around as your space permits. Know that you are completely safe and guarded from harm within your space here. Now, gather yourself, gather all your raw and small selves, gather all your fragmented selves, your wounded selves, your tearful ones, gather in your prisoners, those that you've kept locked deep within the recesses of your being, gather in your nagging ones, the pitying ones, the bullying selves. Yes, we all have these aspects, don't we? Much as we don't like to own it, but we do. They're a part of us and we can love them. Yes, bring in the mean girl sister. Bring her in too. Bring in the less than ones, the ones who feel slighted or not as good as. Bring in the tormented ones and the tormentors as well. Bring in those without much time, never have enough time. Call in those who wander and stray. Wave your arms at the ones who have that bright shiny object syndrome, who are admiring one bright bloom and then another and then another and then another. Call them in. Wake the weary, the sleeping ones. Request the shy one the weak one, the poor one, the one who lives in lack, the sick one, the one who's unwell. Call in the strong selves, the leader selves. Call them all to join you. The busy ones, the doers, bring them all, bring them all. We want all of them. Use your imaginations. Call in those I haven't mentioned. Call in the throngs of selves that abide in the village of you, that is you. Bring them all together now in this circle space. Gather in the grounded ones, the ones who are airy-fairy, the quiet ones, the kind ones, the trendy ones, the unsure ones, the knowing ones. Bring them all in, bring them all together. So there's room for all of you here. And as you're calling in these fragments of you, some are directors, some are workers, some are followers, some are commentators, some are vagrants just hanging out on the sidelines, some are criticizers, some are adventurers, some are healthy, some are unwell. Invite them all, make them all welcome to be present and to be together for a few moments here. And as you've gathered all these aspects, these selves, these um, fragments of yourself, these 
moments of you in time that exist, existed, still exist, gather them all together and notice. Be present, be together for a few minutes and just notice what's going on with them. Is there a babble of talking? Is it cacophony of voices? Is it silent as they wait for you for an announcement perhaps? Is there a few that are acting out or not paying attention? What do you sense is going on? Just be aware and take one to two minutes now with these and observe, notice what's going on, who's showing up, how they're appearing. No judgment, no interfering, just notice. Be present with these aspects of yourself for a moment and we'll be right back. Okay, now that you've noticed your various selves and how they are showing up, now clap your hands, get everyone's attention deeply from the heart. I want you to thank all your many selves. Deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate them for being part of the magnificence of you and for their specific roles. Their roles were very important, very pertinent to your life at the time they were happening and perhaps ongoing. They played a very specific part in helping you get along in the world, in protecting you, and believing they're doing the very best with and for you. So please be appreciative of all of their voices, all of them. Let them know that you are not going to abandon them. You are going to step away for a bit. Smile at them. You can turn and address the many selves if you gathered in this circle. You may say something like this, beloved selves of me, thank you for being part of me, for your very specific role in my life, the part you express so well. And I invite you to relax and rest. I appreciate you and I know where to find you again. Please be respectful, at ease and rest. And I'm going to step away for a moment. I'm going to convene with our wise, wild, and uh, our wise and wild inner woman. Smile again at yourselves. And with that, turn and imagine there's another circle adjacent to the first circle. Another line of chalk around it might be a tad bit larger than the first circle and step into that new circle. Step away from where you were and just step away into the new circle. Smile again at yourselves. Take a breath and feel, breathe that clean, clear energy of this new circle space. So much roominess and spaciousness. Can you revel in that for a minute? Just stand in that new circle and, ooh, yeah, it's just you and you. Yeah, it's awesome. So now, here's what I want you to do. Place your left hand, first two fingers on the point, just below your heart and your breasts, above your belly and solar plexus, but below your heart. Anchor your fingers here, pressing lightly yet firmly. And then place your right hand over your high heart here, above your heart center, below your throat. Breathe in, breathe in, and feel into the deep, wild, and untamed space there is here. Breathe in here, breathe in. All right. So as you can feel into that deep, wild, untamed space here within, now call into your wild and wise inner woman spirit to come forth. Welcome her, welcome her 
invite her in. Let her know that you've created and reserved the space for just the two of you. Allow space for your wild spirit, your ancient wise elder woman to show up and appear to you in whatever form she chooses. Hear her voice, feel her breath on your skin. Be attentive for her message, her wisdom in this moment. She definitely has wisdom for you. You may hear her words, you may see her, and what she's conveying to you in a visual as in a dream or a movie image. You may see her, see her speaking or doing something. You may get symbols or metaphoric imagery. You may receive fragrance or scents or tastes in your mouth or you can have any combination of these. You may have a sense of knowing about something and awareness, or you may not receive anything at all in this moment. All of this is fabulous, it's wonderful. Allow it to be what it is. Remain relaxed. Don't try, don't strive, don't force anything. Just simply allow the mystery of her to unfold with you here in this space the sacred circle that you've created, just the two of you, and allow her to show up as she chooses. For she is that which is a mystery and is unknowable. Take a few moments here to be in this space. Take a few moments to be in this space. And now, breathe in deeply. Tap into that gratitude and appreciation. Perhaps a little bow of acknowledgement to the mystery. Let this experience anchor into your heart, again into this wild, untamed space. Let it anchor into your being, into your body, into your heart. Open your eyes and collect yourself back into your body, into this here and now. Turn again to the first circle with the fragmented selves. Again, thank them for being here, for being a part of yourself and a part of your life. Now, we're gonna close up that first circle. You're gonna pick up the sides, gather up the sides as if it were fabric, gather it up and tie it with the ribbon, the yarn, the twine that you have. So it's sort of a little sack there. They're all safe here. You're free now to step into the freedom of your wild dreams and your primal ancestral and ancient wild and wise inner woman. I invite you to spend some time here, some sacred time. Take a seat, get comfortable, journal. Write out what your impressions were, what you saw, what you felt, what you tasted, what you smelt, what you knew. Write out your sense of it, all your impressions. Record the wisdom that's been shared with you and even that which seems trivial. Even that which might seem so obvious at the moment, even that which might seem incidental, like, you know, a bird flies past the window. Is that important? In this case, I'm going to say yes. So anything that you see or experience, your thoughts, that um, your, your impressions during that time, I would journal all of that, write that all down. Everything shown here has value. So we want to write down anything that's coming to you now as you're in that flow of energy. And you'll be in this flow of energy for some time yet, for some hours, typically. So write it down, capture the messages of her mystery. 
before they dissolve into the wisps of longing we can't really recall like dreams. So for the remainder of the day, I invite you to be gentle with yourself. You may find that you experience some feelings, things that are new or unfamiliar. You may feel things that you thought were old and forgotten already. You may feel fragile, vulnerable. Allow all these feelings. And as you come into alignment with your wise and wild inner elder woman in this manner, you may feel as if, as if you're a, like a snake who's just shed her skin and you're feeling a bit tender in your new soft skin. Know that you've shed the old, what you've outgrown, and that you're now wearing your bright new wild and wise energy. It'll become more familiar and you'll begin to feel more aligned and more fully alive than ever before. So beloved, this is a practice, a medicine practice. You can continue to strengthen your connection and your alignment with your wild and wise inner woman by continuing this practice. I suggest on a monthly basis, regularly, what I have found to be very Helpful is to align it with a particular phase of the moon, which will assist you to remember when you're going to practice this um, and it'll solidify and anchor your intentions into the supporting lunar energy. So, you know, what is it you're opening to? What is it you're releasing? What are you planting? What Check in with your inner self for when exactly what phase of the moon this would be. Trust that it is just so beautifully aligned and whatever you get is absolutely correct. Trust that, all right? So, dearest beloved, I remain in service and in reverence to your divine sacred self from my divine sacred self. So, thank you for this opportunity and may you be blessed with every abundance and opportunity going forward. Let me know if you have questions, comments about anything here. If you had feedback, I definitely welcome all of that. Write to me, share your experience, what's coming through for you, what your images are, your senses, and then what's changing in your life as you take this forward.